Okay, just ignore my eyebrows because <laughs> they look horrible. Um, they don't have anyone that can do eyebrows here in Long Tan, so I have to go into Dung Nai, or Dung Nai, Saigon, to get my eyebrows done. It's crazy. They also don't have tampons here. Who doesn't sell tampons? It's so wild. So it's scarce here, boys, boys and girls. We're roughing it up in here. Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys um, an update, I guess, on my future plans and what I'm doing. So let me get my fake ass coffee. No, I can't live without that. But I mean by fake coffee, I just mean instant coffee is the best, okay? Just kidding. So, here is my, I have some future plans that I've been wanting to share for a little bit and maybe now is the time I'm in a really good mood and I'm speaking very well and I just feel very good. So I'm going to, I don't know if you guys can see me very well in this lighting. This light behind me is just horrible. Let me see if I can turn off this light. I hate bad lighting. Ever since I took an art course, um, I did a painting class, which is also on my channel. I learned about low lights, high lights, undertones, shadows, and I can't stand when there's really poor lighting in a room. <laughs> um, so this is really bothering me, so let me see if I can fix this. Maybe I should be an interior designer. What do you guys think? That's way too dark. Well, whatever, we're just gonna have to work with poor lighting and maybe I'll just have to hold it. See how it changes your face, it changes the direction of everything. I now definitively have three, four major things that I really wanna do in my life. The first one being camping in the summer in BC. I wanna do a series I really don't know how long I'm gonna be doing this for. I was thinking a whole summer, and then I said, oh, that might be too long. Maybe I'll be too isolated because if anyone knows me, you know that I love to talk. So which means that I'll be spend it, spending the majority of my time talking to you guys if I am super isolated in a van. Um, so that is a future plan I've been wanting to do forever. And camping in BC was not something I was ever, I wasn't able to do. I was in a totally different um, mindset and headspace when I was originally living there. So it'd be nice to go back and live a more um, free, natural lifestyle. Just for the summer, not for the winter. I have met someone who did winter van life and it sounds horrible, like horrendous. So I said, absolutely not. I'm going to just do the summertime so that will be coming at some point i don't know when and the other thing that i want to try is yachting i want to work on a yacht and i found this out through a friend it sounds absolutely amazing incredible and i love boats um because my dad always had a boat growing up so i um I still really enjoy those kind of things and I've tried to go in and out of take, take <coughs> I've tried to go in and out of taking sailing courses which haven't really worked out and um, I don't know it, it's just really scary to be navigating a whole ass boat by yourself if you really think about it it's really scary so I found, there is a school that I was told uh, to go to in the UK to get my cert. It's very expensive, but it is something I've been considering doing in my lifetime at some point. So that's the second thing I want to do. The third thing I want to do is travel. Okay, why did I <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, the third thing I want to do is travel. I want to continue to travel. I want to do South America. I want to do Antarctica. I want to do New Zealand. I want to do Australia. I have not hit those um, parts of the world. And I'm genuinely like, am I ever going to get there, right? Because when I hit a country, 
I try to go to neighboring countries if I can in the area. Um, whereas in the past, I would just stay in one spot and then I realized like, oh wait, this is actually not that far and it'll cost the same amount of money or whatever. So sometimes now I'll, I'll try to split up more time and uh, now I've done half of Central America. I've done a lot of the Caribbean. I've done five countries in Africa, which um, I still need to do South Africa. So um, I just started that. But yeah, it's been a, a very slow but amazing process of getting to learn how to travel, how to travel solo, depending on what countries I'm going to. So that was has been really awesome. So I want to continue to travel. My goal is to travel to all seven continents. I've reached five now, so seven. I said I wanted to reach it by 30. That's not going to happen, and I'm okay with that. And the fourth thing that I want in my lifetime is a family. If it can, if it comes to me, great. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not going to force it or, you know, have something unnatural that doesn't feel good. But it is something that I do want at some point in my life. So, yeah. And I also want to start this business. I talking about and I don't know where this business partner is at she's MIA so yeah let's uh, let's anybody out there that wants to start a small business with me in Canada anyone anyone at all okay so so anyways, thanks guys. I just wanted to give you an update. I also just love talking and ranting. If you hate this and absolutely do not enjoy watching this, unsubscribe, unfollow me. I really don't understand why people take the time to talk to you, to follow you if they don't like you. Unless you're a troll, then please keep following me because you just boost my ego even more. Uh, anyways, okay, take care guys. I will see you guys soon. And I'm going to be posting a Day in the life vlog in Vietnam. And there's not much going on, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that much, but it's a very slow, simple life. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. So that will be coming out soon. And yeah, thanks for watching.